Hello! In this video, we will discuss the features of online advertisements, as well as two unique features of advertising online, search histories and customer feedback. Understanding these two points will help you learn the role that you, the consumer, play in online advertising. It will also help you understand the techniques that advertisers use to attract your attention. There are many different types of online advertisements. Online ads may be similar to print advertisements because they only show pictures but no sounds. Or they may be similar to television ads because they include videos which have sounds and movement. Therefore, depending on the specific online ad, you may see features from print ads such as different colors, images, slogans, and logos. You may also see features from television ads such as music, different voices, sound effects, jingles, and storytelling. Unlike print or television advertisements, when advertisers create online ads, they can use people's online search histories and customer feedback. A search history is the list of websites that a person has gone to recently. Let's think of an example. Pretend you have been looking to buy a new car. You spend the day looking at different car companies' websites, you do a Google search on new cars, then you decide to take a break and go to a clothing website on Facebook. You see advertisements for cars on the sides of the websites you're looking at. The car websites you looked at and the Google search you did influenced what ads you see later on these other websites. In addition to using search histories, online advertisers can also use customer feedback. Customer feedback is information that customers give to a company about a product. In other words, customers state what they like or do not like about a product. There are several different ways that customers can give customer feedback. Many times, customers are asked to give a certain number of stars to represent how much they like the product. The more stars, the better. Customers can often type their thoughts about the product as well. A newer and very popular way for customers to give feedback is through social media. Many companies now create a social media site to advertise their products and services. On such sites, advertisers can post information, pictures, and short videos about the product. Customers can show that they like a product or company by clicking on a like button or sharing the page with their friends. They can also type in comments they have, both positive and negative. Customer feedback is helpful to advertisers because if the feedback is good, the company can use those comments to advertise the product. If the feedback is not very good, the company can use those comments to improve the product. It makes you as the consumer an active participant in the advertising process. In other words, you help advertisers make decisions about their products and what to include in their ads. Feedback is also good for you, the consumer. You also can use other customers' feedback to help you make your own decisions about what products or services to buy. To summarize, the two features that are unique to advertising online are search histories and customer feedback. Your search history influences what ads you see when you are online. Customer feedback allows you to explain your experience with a product. It also helps you make decisions about what products or services to buy. In the next video, we'll put together everything we've learned in this unit to answer the five questions we must ask ourselves when analyzing media messages, including advertisements.